So I'm here to preach that this entire godless education system, this entire Bibleless curriculum is coming to an end. Do you know why it exists? It's because people worship money. It's because people love money. And all the elders and all the people that are at the top and are just gleaning, it, with, it's, it, it is so easy to see. It is so easy to see. When you don't have the Bible in the school system, it's because people are benefiting from other people's weakness. If you take away the sword from people and the truth, okay, now they can't, now they can't convict, you know, the elders of, of sin, saying you're just, you're just fleecing the sheep. You're just harvesting. It's like, oh man, it is disgusting to think about these public school teachers. I'm like, some of them, it'll be interesting once the Gematria revelation gets out and they are confronted with the undeniable truth, okay, that God is God, that God owns the English language and God owns every single word they've ever spoken using grade one arithmetic. That the thoughts of heart, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Will they repent or will they not? Okay. And um, who knows, many, many of these people might pass away. They just simply won't. They simply won't repent. And that's disgusting. But um, it is gross. It is absolutely gross, the sin of man. And what you think about the average public school teacher uh, talks about and what they teach young people, it's disgusting. It's absolutely hideous. You underestimate how pathetic man is apart from a prayer life. If you don't give yourself wholeheartedly to seeking the true God, you will be just as pathetic as all the crappy school teachers out there that are just, they got nothing to say, they're leading children astray, their bodies look like hell, they're so devoid of joy, so devoid of fire, they have no concept of heaven and hell, they have no concept of right and wrong, and it just, I'm just thankful that God has a plan, and God has a redeeming ability for, for even the, 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 the worst of situations, because nothing could be worse than what we currently have. <laughs> Literally, nothing could be worse than what we currently have in Canada and the USA, as far as our curriculum goes. Nothing could be a tiny fraction worse than telling everyone that the earth is millions of years old, you know, and that it's a lie. It's, it's a total lie. Um, if you want to get your lie healed on the age of the earth, read www.creationscience.com, the book by Dr. Walt Brown. It'll crush everything. It'll heal you. It'll set you free. You'll get all the truth. You'll get all the things you need to hear. You'll be like, finally, someone told me the truth. You know, if you're really good, which, which most Christians are, you, you, you believe every word that the Bible says. You know that the Bible is the truth. You know that when it says the earth is just over 6,000 years old, according to accurate Bible chronology, it is accurate. It is dead true. It is perfectly accurate. God is sovereign over the accuracy and the trustworthiness of the Holy Bible, okay? But if you want glorious, glorious scientific evidence and a revelation through a man of God and a man of science, Go to creationscience.com and read the book. It's online free by Dr. Walt Brown. I've said it before. I'll say it again. When a man gives revelation away for free, it's because he is a true man of God. When someone takes it into themselves to write a book and publish it and sell it for money, you know there's dirty work afoot. And that's why I'm totally unashamed to start trashing books like the five love languages and like the seven habits of highly successful people. This is all mammon worship. This is all mammon worship. I'm like, I'm sorry, there are far more than five love languages. I've already mentioned several. Listening is the number one love language because words are king. Listening to God is the most important love language because God is love and he commands our worship. Secondly, laughter is a love language and making people laugh. That's not in the book. And there's so many ways to love people. Creating something efficient, you know, that's, that is efficient, you know, that saves people time and that makes people feel happy. That's not in the book. I'm like, the five love languages. This is retarded. Like, how dare you try and, like, quantify the eternal God whose name is love into, like, five dumb things that you thought of on the playground, put into a little book and said, bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. We are the, we are the official, you know, sages on love. And it's only, it's five things you can do. You're just like, this is retarded. And they're selling these books for money. I'm like, yesterday, like here's a case in point. I got a free book in the mail from K.P. Yohannan and the organization Gospel for Asia because they want to take the truth, the gospel, to India, the poor, 
the unreached world. And you can get his book free in the mail because he wants to, to promote the truth. Like, it's, it is disgusting. Oh, I wrote a book. I don't want to sell it. I want to collect money from the sheep. It's as plain as the, the Spirit of God was speaking to me yesterday when I was at the bookstore and I picked up this. It was thick. It was thick. It was hard covered. had tons of color photos on the inside. It was called The Supple Leopard. How to like make your physical body feel as good as you possibly can. And the Spirit of God spoke to me saying this book is rooted in greed. The reason this book is thick and fat and full of all this stuff is and I looked at the price and it was like it was like seventy dollars. It was I could tell. It was overpriced. And you're just like, this is retarded. How many more like and that's why God has ordained the internet and YouTube. It's so that all the and Wikipedia, it's so all of this profiteering is rapidly getting exposed. Folks, I have not purchased anything online in a long time. And I I won't because God, the best things in life are free. When you have truth that is worth sharing to the human race, you will give it away for free. Period. That's just who God is. And all of this demonic profiteering is rapidly coming to an end. People are pissed off at the ads. They're pissed off at the marketing. They're, they're, they're sick and tired of ads on YouTube now. They're like, this used to be free. Like, it just... Wikipedia, Blue Letter Bible, it's like, okay, the world was meant to run by donation. Literally, the world in its purest, truest, godliest form is meant to run on love. It is meant to be run by generosity. That is, if something is worth supporting, people give their money to it without expecting anything in return. They, they, they are so compelled by the Spirit of God and the, the love of humanity that they give it away for free. And that's why... People are just, the stupid patent wars, people are just walking away from it saying, this is trash, this is stupid. Get a, get a generous life, get a God life. If you invent something, give it away for free. And all of these greedy men of history are getting exposed, like people that patented crap, people that invented crap and, and made a killing off of their brethren off of it. It's all getting exposed. These were weak men, these were greedy whoremongers, they were far from God, they were far from Christ, they were far from the likeness of the Holy Trinity, greedy whoremongers that didn't have a prayer life, and it's disgusting. It is disgusting. It's like, it's like children in the toy room. It is, it's just plain disgusting. And, um, Thank God it's going downhill. Thank God it's coming to an end. You're just like, what an annoyance. What an absolute annoyance that people can't even share things with each other. Like, it is so stupid. We should all be like dancing nightly because of the joy of God among us. Like, this is retarded. People can't even get set free to don't. Like, it's just unbelievable, the lack of sharing. It's unbelievable. And it's all rooted in fear and people like, well, I don't know. I don't know if God blesses generosity. I don't know if, you know, he'll come through for me if I give to someone else. Okay, I appreciate that you're maybe a little inexperienced to begin, but get going. Like, trust me, he will come through for you as you start giving. Trust me, it works. Oh my gosh. I've seen money do disgusting. I, I, it's like everyone is selling Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. That's what I see in this modern age. It's like, you know, as long as I don't have to talk about Jesus, I'll do anything for money. You're just like, oh my God, this is disgusting. It's like, how impoverished, how low can you go, man? It's like, whoa, this is base. Um, okay. Jesus wants you to be happy. Like, but he wants, like, you have to have a purpose. Like, if, if you think happiness is, anyways, all right. I, I'm here to, I'm, I want to stick with Gematria because that's really satisfying and that's never been done and we're scooping that up. But one can't resist preaching against the ilks of the day once one uh, gets going talking based on the stuff that I have to swim through on a daily basis like most current humans. Um... All right, so, all right, that's good enough for now. I'll probably upload this stuff more to come. Massive, massive Gematria floods. Uh, okay, I like the fun ones, okay? God is a very fun person. So I like the fact that father, so earmuffs had father at the center. I like the fact that headphones had father at the center. 
Okay, because father's on top, just like the word nipples from human anatomy and a host of other famous words. Um, Wolskine, we talked about that. Dermis, G's, anterior, the sacrum. Um, all right, parietal bone. It's been awesome. We're going we're gonna to dig into more anatomy. I can feel it. Clavicle, that's good stuff. Um, that was great, getting the revelation on the sternum, the bow and the stern. New words. I can't believe, you just like, it is so breathtaking. You're just, you're just coming alongside, you know, the ride that God has been working on for hundreds of years. Welcome to the English language. Welcome to the medical language. Welcome to all words everywhere that God has been preparing for hundreds of years. Mathematically. And the angels have been seeing this big picture from the dawn of time. And that's why they never stop worshiping, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. And so the tip of your elbow, just like the tip of your knee, this is like, like this, this will go on top because it's an extremity. Okay. It's like the father gets the glory for all these, ex the extremity words. Like this is called the olecranon. I didn't know that until yesterday. That is pathetic. At the age of 36, I didn't even know that this is called the olecranon and that that mathematically points to father. Well, blessed be the next generations. Blessed be my children. Blessed be anyone who listens to me. You just say, thank God for this revelation now. You know, olecranon is flawless for father. Olecranon. Okay, it's the top of the elbow. And it goes to father. So you can spell the word Anne. The name Anne. That's the dead center of father. Okay. And then the rest is pure threes. Okay. So the olecran on the tip of your elbow goes to father, just like the word kneecap and the word patella down in your legs. The word joints is triple twenty nine, triple half father. Okay, so pay attention to the extremities. Man, you can even see extremities. Think about extreme, like the word exit, the word extreme, the word extremities, all begin with that half-father. And many of them contain an IT, which is the other half-father, as in the word exit. So you talk about extremities. You're already screaming out the TI, extremities. Um, you got two TIs in there. Like it's glaring, the, 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 the father in there. But this was a big breakthrough. The the bow, the brow, the bow, the stern. So the bow of the ship is father minus 18. The stern of the ship is father eight plus 18. So bow plus stern is double father perfectly. And then therefore the sternum of the body is um, father, father, double there. Sternum. There you go. So big revelation. Eucalyptus so smoking hot incisor. So so smoking hot revelation from I love the pom pom gem. I love getting gems from the Lord of Things on top. Frizz, hairs, pom pom, earmuffs, headphones. Um The revelation is here and it's going to be hilarious once people have to face it. I am talking shock and I am talking massive overhaul. You are going to see poor people rejoice. You are going to see rich people running for cover. You are going to see educated people fleeing for their lives. People that have been teaching in secular school curriculums that can't deal with the truth, they can't handle the truth, but yet have been reaping fat salaries from the government tax-based system. It's it like this is going to pierce the, ha the hearts and thoughts and souls of many people, and you are going to see once people face Gematra, you are going to see pe people decide. You are going to see people's true heart come out. You are going to see whether they love God or love other things. You are going to see whether they choose Jesus or they choose the praises of men. You're going to see whether they can repent of their past or not repent. You're going to see who's humble and who isn't. More than anything, this Gematria revelation is going to reveal, and I've already experienced it like crazy in my life. I, it's just, it's so obvious. You are going to see quickly who is willing to listen, who is not. You're going to see who is humble, who is not. You're going to see who loves God and who does not. Because people who love God love Gematria. Gematria equals Jesus equals great I am. Using the same letters. People who hate Gematria secretly, somehow, disturbingly, in their soul, 
they hate God. I'll say it again. If you hate Gematria or you despise Gematria, you hate the living God who made it. Period. And it is unbelievable. I see people like people worship people. That's, that's the number one sin. That is the number one sin on earth today. It always has been. It always was. Right from the beginning in the Garden of Eden, okay, the scholars all agree that Adam was with Eve when she committed the first sin. That is to say, Adam chose Eve. Adam chose to follow Eve rather than follow God. Adam chose human peer pressure rather than God's truth. Adam chose to follow the crowd, to follow a woman rather than to listen to God. Adam was with Eve, most scholars agree, based on the words, Adam was with Eve when she took the first bite of the forbidden fruit. From the very dawn of the human race, men have been worshipping women, and women have been worshipping men, and all of them have been unknowingly been slave to Satan. <laughs> okay. Well, God wants a holy generation that is devoted to God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I'm saying, you pull out this truth, like this Gematria revelation, already it's irking people. We live in a very feminized generation. I don't know why people hate the name Father. Just because God says, call me Father, does not mean he didn't create females and all are equal as human souls in his eyes. You're just like, but people are, people just have all these misconceptions. Oh, he's promoting the name Father. Therefore, what does God understand about women? Oh my God understands everything about women. He created women. He loves women like crazy more than any of us ever have and ever will. And it's like, but he says, you call me Father. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, people. Who will humble themselves? Who will simply humble themselves and accept the truth for what it is? All right. Um, anyways, it's, it's going to be delightful to see. I can't wait. <laughs> there's nothing better than humility. God loves humility in all of us. Like there's nothing more satisfying <laughs> than seeing an arrogant person that is outside of Christ come to that blessed place of humility where they, they finally say, I was wrong. And for years, I was wrong. Done. Thank you for fessing up. You've finally been healed. God bless you. Let's move on. It's not really that complicated. No one really cares that much. They're just happy that you're finally saved and finally set free from dumb thinking. All right. So, all right, more to come. Big time.